Michael Mondragon, graphic designer for Nerdy Connections. Today we're going to learn the Harris shutter effect in Photoshop. So let's check that out. So this is the Harris shutter effect in Photoshop and what I have here is I have a very simple uh, photo of an elephant here. But what I did is I took three shots of actually um, this and let me show them to you. I'm going to go to my layers palette. So I actually have, if I turn off my eye here, I have another elephant. A uh, smaller one, and we have another, I guess it's a cat or a tiger, uh, but it's all shot in the same position. So if I close the eyes again, you can see uh, they're, pretty, they're pretty close. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take uh, the red channel from this layer, we're going to take the green channel from this layer, and we're going to take the blue channel from this layer and we're going to put it into a new document and that's going to create the Harris shutter effect. So uh, I select this layer, I'm going to go up to a window and I'm going to go into the channels and as you see I get the RGB but also I get the individual channel so I'm actually going to select the red channel. Uh, I'm going to uh, select the whole document here and I'm going to copy that. Now I have an exact same file here with the same dimensions and I'm actually going to click on the red channel here and I'm going to paste. Now if I were just to look at the whole composite you're just going to see that. That's going to be my red channel. But we're going to turn that off. Um, and just use the red channel at this point. And we're going to go back to the original document. We're going to turn those in and we're going to turn this layer off. We're going to select the green layer. But we're going to select the green channel in, the, in that and we're going to, we still have that marquee, so we're going to copy. We're going to go back to the other document. We're going to select the green channel and we're going to paste. So let's turn those on. So you're kind of getting an idea of what we're kind of going for here. And we still have the blue. There's no blue in this channel. So we're actually going to go get that from the other document. So we're going to turn off this layer. We're going to select this blue layer. We're going to actually select the blue channel. And again, copy. Go back to the other document select the blue channel and we're going to paste. Now, if you see the, the silhouetted effect of this, all three channels, because it's in the same camera position, is actually going to fill in because it's all uh, in the same dimension here. But the red channel will take that and we have the green channel and we have the blue channel. So it actually creates a very interesting effect that you can actually use uh, if you're using it outdoors, it's probably going to have a better effect. But this is a very simple still life and kind of gives you an idea of what the Harris shutter effect can do. And uh, I've seen some really exciting, fun things that people have done with it and uh, it looks like a really great technique. So have fun with it. So that's the Harris shutter effect in Photoshop. I'm Michael Mondragon from Nerdy Connections and we'll see you next time.